Hudson, this is a really fun in space update for everybody. Okay. It's a mystery. Ooh, I love mysteries. I'm gonna set it up for you. A little over a year ago, scientists in Australia picked up a brief burst of electromagnetic radiation. The pulse was so strong that it eclipsed all other signals coming from the sky, but its origins were unknown. Okay. All right. After digging through the data, the team discovered that the source wasn't a distant celestial object like they initially thought, because sometimes that does happen. Mm -hmm. It's called FBRs. But rather, this was a zombie satellite that had been left to orbit Earth with no real purpose. Mm -hmm. It had not been used since 1967, originally put in orbit in January of 1964. This was NASA's Relay 2. That was sending out this signal. It has not been used because its transponder stopped working in 1967 Mm -hmm. and suddenly was able to send out a signal. But you said it's orbiting Earth? It's orbiting Earth. So it's still close by. It's still close by. Apparently, the reason they heard this, it was like perfect timing of how this worked out. Perfect timing for it to have power to even send a signal out, which is crazy again Mm because it's like 60 years old. And then also, it uh, was directly over where uh, this, I guess, uh, antenna or whatever the device, yeah, that they were using to listen for celestial. Uh, they call these, um, are, sorry, FRBs, not FBRs, FRBs, which are uh, fast radio bursts, and mm-hmm. they usually do come from far off celestial bo- bodies like pulsars and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was directly over where they were listening, and they heard it for 30 nanoseconds, hmm. the strongest, loudest. Again, it it blasted over everything else, and it was from Relay 2 from NASA. So... What are the odds that this is some kind of individual that's lost in space, (laughs) you know, like Matthew McConaughey interstellar (laughs) style, just trying to reach out in any way possible to make contact with Earth (laughs) and let us know he's out there somehow? Well, a completely unmanned uh, satellite, so uh, very unlikely that there is any uh, people involved. Could he be lost in space and like he using that satellite he or something beamed something to the sat he's like this is my only hope <laughs> it's a long shot a billion to one but i'm going to beam my signal to this the satellite and make it go off right at the right time so that it shows off some alarm bells and somebody knows somehow that i'm out here last- murph murph knows <laughs> murph knows last i checked uh every person that has gone up into space has been accounted for mm. some way or another so we know Even where Katie they are Perry. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well documented <laughs> so what's the explanation then so they they're not really sure they're trying to figure out exactly why why this happened what caused it there's a couple theories so mm-hmm. i'll give you those theories and you can tell me uh, what you think uh, it c- could have been. So mm-hmm. the scientists behind this detection, they believe that the satellite may have built up electricity over the years mm-hmm. and then suddenly discharged it in a single you know, powerful burst. Another possibility is that Relay 2 was struck by something mm-hmm. that caused uh, kind of a release of plasma mm-hmm. that could have caused this. So the researchers are really just speculating because yeah. we don't we don't know why that's doing this. But initially, these were put into orbit to um, kind of get more information on the Van a- Allen uh, radiation belts. Okay. Um, so it is. Yes. It is one very, of my favorites. <laughs> it is very belts. likely that they could be hit by other objects. But okay. there is relay one, relay two, relay two. Again, the transponder stopped working in 1967, so mm-hmm. it has not been heard from since then. So this is this and is pretty crazy. It's got something to say. Apparently, only for 30 nanoseconds. So yeah. it was really quick. <laughs> I just hope that whoever that person or alien is that's out there <laughs> desperately trying to reach us they don't go unnoticed okay that's my hypothesis gotcha if they want to record that at nasa <laughs>